Speaking, as the commission in Governor Babajide Sawunlu stated that the exercise marked another fulfillment of his pledge to deliver infrastructure that would assuage the pain and bring comfort to the electorate. He added that the project was delivered ahead of schedule despite the disruption of activities occasioned by the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. He also stated further that as a proactive government who understands that good roads are a catalyst for socio-economic development, he will continue to fulfill his campaign promises of providing legations with a modern, safe, decent and reliable intermodal transport system. The governor also said that the state government was also constructing a jetty at the Ijeda waterfront to create a hub for waterways transportation in the town, in line with the state's integrated transportation master plan. The Lagos State Chief Executive also handed over compensation checks worth 500 million naira to 16 claimants at the event. We have kept to the promise, we have kept to our commitment, we have delivered this project ahead of schedule. When we gave it to you, we didn't even know that pandemic was going to happen. We didn't know that the coronavirus last year was going to ravage the country. But even in the thick and thin of it, you kept promise, you kept faith with our citizens, you kept the hope of our people alive, and we deliver this route ahead of schedule. I think it's something that needs to be commended, it's something that needs to be eliminated. About 455 affected families, worship centers, and businesses were listed for compensation to the tune of 2 billion naira in all places where the state government is executing infrastructure projects within the area. Ranodu Ovimota Oba Ajibade Aguru in his remark said Governor Babajide Sawunlu had brought relief to commuters with the rehabilitation of the Ijede Road. Chairman of Community Development Council, CDC, Rotimi Ayoku Awolawi, hailed the governor for graciously approving the construction of a jetty in Ijede to complement the road project. I hope in Lagos, in the north, in the east of Lagos, in the west of Lagos, in the south of Lagos, for economic activities. Otherwise, it's a major example of what I've been doing the last two years. This road is going to link up three together. And by the end of it, Toby Matarash Me, where we have the, big, the biggest rice mill in Africa, the third largest in the whole world. In her welcome address, the special advisor to the governor on works and infrastructure, engineer Aramide Adeoye, expressed optimisms that the rehabilitation upgrading of the road into a dual carriageway status would enhance property values and improve socio-economic well-being of the people. She stressed the need to address issues ranging from vandalization of road furniture and public utilities, indiscriminate dumping of refuse on roads and drainages, as well as the activities of some roadside mechanics and axle overloads on inner roads. The Ijeda Road, which was a single carriageway before its reconstruction, cuts across for local government areas and local council development areas. From Lagos, Love Uluwafemi Oyedoku, reporting for Kaftan Television News.